So, between uh, last recording and this recording, uh, Gomez is waking up from a nap. It's, it's only been just like a couple minutes. <laughs> but, um... Seems as if we found a puzzle. Ah, I wonder what this means. Okay, so let's see. So from this direction, it needs to look like that. Let me toss it up here. Okay. That was odd. Gomez got stuck for a second. Come on, dude. No. Wow. Okay, so... Squant boy. Okay. So I gotta fix. So that's right. So I gotta just fix the middle one. I just want to grab it. Can I like... If I leave the room... Alright, let's go back in the room. Alright, look, I'm gonna figure this puzzle out before I have to talk to you again, alright? Sorry, I'm getting a little... Getting a little focused. Okay, so I just gotta get this one... Huh! Whoa. Uh. I don't like that. I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. Don't be so happy, Gomez. That doesn't seem like a good thing. Anti-cube. For every cube, there's an anti-cube. A negative for every positive. Anti-cubes are much harder to find than regular cubes. You found four cubes. Now you can open the door we saw earlier. You know the one just outside your village. Oh, so, that's right, yeah, anti-cubes count as cubes, but then there's technically a total of 64 cubes. I think. I don't know, but I think you find anti-cubes as cubes. You don't have to worry about finding them as, like, anything different. Okay. So, 
Gosh dang it, Gomez. Ah, there's bomb up there. Oh yeah, cause ah. Okay, so that's the one thing I remember about this game is if you switch perspectives and you're not paying attention, you could really freaking bone yourself. Wait a second. Wait a second. I got an idea. There we go. Ha ha! I, ju I think you're actually supposed to go this way and you can get the bomb and blow it up so it makes it easier to get back. Yeah, there we go. Yaga! Yoink! Oh wait, no, I need to go back this way. Yoink! Why is it? Why? And it's kind of interesting. I wonder why sometimes Dot flies around and then the other times Dot's just kind of like, eh. It's fine, you know. Okay, I can make that jump. I didn't know if I could or not. That's why I was that's why I was skeptical about jumping across that gap. Okay, so yeah, let's go in here. Alright. Uh, that's a big hole in the middle of that. Alright, so I think we're at the end of a rabbit hole here. Haha. <laughs> Okay, so let's skitty back on up here. That goes to another area. Okay. Perspective is everything. So, as I've stated, like playing with the Paint Through Legends of the series, I don't have an adapter to be able to listen to game audio at the same time that I'm doing this, which really sucks because I remember the soundtrack of this game being really good. And I've listened to it a little bit when I had to go back through and listen to one of the recordings. Um, so, I've just got just freaking music just playing through my head just uh pass the time <laughs> also while I pass away apparently all right there you go Gomez okay
So yeah, there is a secret there. I know there's a secret there. Still one more area from that. And I still got one more area back this way. It looks like there's like a... Some kind of gate up top. Oh, a small gate. There's a cube and there's bits here, so... That's good news to know. Okay. Wait, is this one of those doors? Ha ha! Yes, it is one of those doors. Where's this door take me, is my question. Oh! So that door brings me all the way back here. Ah! Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> nope. Almost, Gomez. How do I... Oh, yeah, that's right. You can jump and change perspective. Okay, so... What am I miss? Okay, so there's a... There's that. Okay, so there's a cube up there with a the small gate. Ha! Beat your system. Ah, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so I can't make that jump. Alright, so... Okay, so I can make... Jump. Oh, no. Man. Alright. I'm glad there's no penalty for dying. But there's probably an achievement for not dying while playing through this. Okay, I think this is just an entry. Huh. Something's preventing you from changing your perspective in this area. Oh, the totem? That's interesting. A totem preventing me from changing perspective. I gotta turn the totem around to change perspective. Oh. Get me down there, boy! Yoink. Nope. Alright. Uh, there you go. There's a door right there. this I 
need to get to the top of that totem, but I don't know how to. That's probably close enough, actually. Okay, so got that. I need to get through this doorway. It's just rabbit hole after rabbit hole. Oh, it's another anti-cube. They've got patterns on them. So, uh, okay, so they have the same pattern on them. Okay, that one's right. No, go up. Go! Get another anti cube! Well, I thought I did. I guess, do I need to go through this door? No, it was the other door. Okay. I guess this will take me to an anti cube or something else completely different. Aha, uh -huh, yes it will. Could just jump right up on it. Okay. <laughs> Dumb me. Okay, so we got four cubes, two anti cubes. I have no idea what that's for. Okay, so man, we are doing good. We're at six cube shards in total, I think. So, we're doing pretty good. Making some good headway. I don't think I should fall in that water. Sounds like an instant death situation. Um, but anyways, uh, so we're gonna make our way back out of here and back into the main strip of where we need to be. And uh, we'll figure out what we need to do from there. So, uh, I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.